Hi, it's that time of the year when we look at the most efficient solar panels and gauge how much the technology has progressed over the last year. This video will be presented in two parts. First we will look at the solar cell efficiencies as recorded in the lab. In the second segment we look at the most efficient panels in the market categorized by cell technologies. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better more sustainable world. So subscribe today to get the updates of our latest videos. So without further ado, let's start with the peak efficiency of solar cells as recorded in the lab. At number 10 we have the disensitized solar cell that remain at 11.9% seeing no improvement over the record that was achieved by Sharp Corporation. At number 9 we see a huge leap in organic solar cell performance that jumped from peak efficiency of 11.5% to 15.6%. At number 8 we have cadmium telluride thin film cells by First Solar that saw no improvement in their efficiency record of 22.1% over the year. At number 7 we have the very widely used technology of polycrystalline silicon cells at 22.3% efficiency while at number 6 we have another thin film technology of 6 recording efficiency of 22.9% which is a slight improvement on the previous efficiency value of 22.6%. At number 5 we have the unstabilized perovskite cell technology which is relatively new recording an efficiency value of 23.7%. Now sitting at number 4 we have the monocrystalline silicon cell with an impressive value of 26.1% while at number 3 we have another thin film technology of gallium arsenide pipping the monocrystalline silicon with an efficiency value of 27.8%. It has to be mentioned though that gallium arsenide is a very expensive technology. At number 2 we have a new entrant which is the tandem perovskite cell that has reached an amazingly high value of 28% in very little time. At number 1 we have the multi-junction solar cell by Soitec that still remains the most efficient with a value of 46% conversion and will probably remain at this position for the foreseeable future. And now we'll look at the most efficient solar panels available in the market for various technologies. At number 6 we have Seraphim Polycrystalline SRP340 BPA with an efficiency value of 17.4%. At number 5 we have the Cadmium Telluride Solar Panel by First Solar model number FS6445A with an efficiency value of 18%. At number 4 we have the Panasonic's HIT solar panel with the model number 330SJ53 with an efficiency value of 19.7%. Moving on to number 3 we have SunPower which is a renowned company and their model number SPR X21345 has an efficiency value of 21.5%. Please note that SunPower have discontinued the X22360 which had a superior efficiency value of 22.2%. At number 2 we have the Alta Devices Gallium Arsenide Multijunction Generation 4 panel with an efficiency value of 29%. And finally right at the top at number 1 we have the Spectrolab XJT Prime with an efficiency value of 30.7%. This concludes the list but there are a few things that should be noted. High efficiency panels do not mean the most effective panels for all scenarios. In fact, efficiency only has value when the space is limited. Often in order to buy very high efficiency panels a huge amount of premium has to be paid. It is for this reason that gallium arsenide and multi-junction solar cells have not found their way in domestic and commercial scale applications. They have however their utility in space applications. Most of the solar cell technologies have reached or are close to reaching maturity. However, new technologies like perovskite and organic solar cells hold the key in taking the technology forward. Similarly, there's a lot of scope in reducing the price of multi-junction solar cells through economy of scales. And with this the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video please do hit the like button. Share it to spread the word and thank you for your attention.